Hey guys, Dr. Lara here today. Uh, today the topic is going to be something called fibrosarcomas. Um, to give you a heads up, it is going to be kind of graphic, so I want you guys to either be aware, prepared, or if you decide not to watch, um, just to listen. So uh, today I am here with uh, Mocha. Mocha is an eight-year-old uh, female spade Rottweiler, and she is here today um, because we're doing a follow-up uh, post-radiation therapy. Um, as you guys can see, she's got uh, scabs all over her nose and the tumor on her nose. Um, this is something that uh, pretty uncommon, uh, at least the way they presented. The way hers presented was she got kneed in the face, developed a swelling. Uh, we did some biopsies on it at that time. It was way, way, way smaller. Um, came back as, you know, just like as a, what we call a hematoma. Um, that is usually not something that's a concern. Um, and then she went ahead, the, the tumor got bigger and we ended up going, she ended up going to a, uh, a specialty facility. They went ahead to do a super aggressive surgery. And um, when that biopsy came back, that particular biopsy said that it was just abnormal scar tissue. And so um, at that point, the decision was made that we probably wouldn't put her through any sort of radiation therapy, um, just because the recommended radiation therapy was going to be, um, I wanna say three to five days a week um, for about three to four weeks. So she was, we were looking at about 18 sessions of uh, radiation therapy for her. And so this has all happened over a matter, I wanna say of about uh, a year to a year and a half. Um, and uh, now uh, we have this thing and we're pretty certain that it is what we call a fibrosarcoma. Um, this particular fibrosarcoma is what we would call a low high fibrosarcoma. Uh, what that means is it's low histopathologically speaking. So when we go ahead and we do the biopsy, um, when they look at, when the histopathologist or specialist looks at it under the microscope, under the microscope, it doesn't look like a really aggressive tumor. Um, but the high part of that means biologically speaking, how it acts seems to be acting like a more aggressive tumor. Um, with this particular dog, uh, Mocha, what ends up happening is uh, these tumors usually do have the possibility of spreading. Uh, it's not a high percentage. I want to I want to say I think it's about 10% of them can spread. Um, aggressive surgical removal is typically the treatment of choice, um, and the issue with uh, at least with Mocha is that we didn't get a clear-cut diagnosis of fibrosarcoma. Otherwise, you know, the route would have potentially been different. Um, the, and that happened, I want to say twice that the biopsies came back from uh, to two different places that it, it wasn't a fibrosarcoma at that time. And so now the other possibility that you have to be aware of with fibrosarcomas, even though the treatment of choice is um, surgical removal, it is very possible that it may come back. Um, fibrosarcomas are more prominent in large breed dogs. Um, and they usually, if they are close to bony tissue, they usually will break down that bony tissue. That was something else that was odd about this particular uh, one because um, she ended up, when we've done CT scans on her, and whenever you have a dog that has a tumor on the nose or in the nose, CT scans are the way to go uh, to evaluate the growth. Um, it wasn't penetrating the bone, it wasn't destroying the bone. So again, two things that are, are making it seem like it's not a fibrosarcoma, which makes this case that much rarer. Um, and so um, with those particular cases, again, going back to how to treat them, one of the other things is if it isn't an area where you may not be able to get a lot of tissue, if you're open to the idea, you may wanna consider radiation therapy to go ahead and try and get rid of uh, as many of the cells as possible with the radiation therapy after the surgery to remove the major tumor. Uh, there is a product called, um, it's a synthetic graft from a company called Vetrix. Um, and so that is something that sometimes can be put in places like this, um, which may help to retard or slow down the growth of abnormal cells. 
Um, it is something that is not super traditional. Uh, so it would be something that if you are watching this video and you wanna make the recommendation to your veterinarian or to your veterinary surgeon, um, that would be something that you would have to go ahead, research for yourself and ask that particular surgeon if it's something that they're open to using. And if not, would they be willing to use it um, and you know, getting all that information for them. Uh, in this particular case, um, MOCA has, has now had radiation therapy. Um, with radiation therapy, uh, the side effects from radiation therapy you can see would be um, kind of the breaking down of the skin. Um, you can see the scabs, um, and if it's close to the face, if you look at her left eye, you can actually see that her left eye looks a little different than the right eye, and the reason being is because uh, she will also get um, some depigmentation of her cornea, but, or not cornea, her uh, iris, but also she'll get dry eye. So um, that is something that usually will go away. The side effects from radiation therapy will typically last about two to three weeks from the last session of radiation. Uh, MOCA is about three weeks out uh, now. Um, so we were talking about potential quality of life about a week ago and we have seen significant improvement. So you're gonna wanna hold out for about two or three weeks after your last session of radiation therapy. And the radiation oncologists say that it takes about three to four months um, if you have a larger tumor for you to see the most significant effects from the um, radiation. Um, if you guys have any questions about this particular video, please leave it in the comment box. If you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe. And if you know somebody who potentially needs to see this, please share it with them. Hope you guys are being safe and take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.